Building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. All right, I'm making these epoxy countertops. Okay, we're going to prime it first. Okay. Okay, we're putting on the undercoat. Then we're going to make it look like marble. You use a white undercoat. Now I'm going through here, putting this on. I put a first a thin coat. I make sure I cover all areas. I'm doing the inside here of the sink because there's going to be an undermount sink. I like to get it underneath there to go in a little bit further. Helps seal the the wood. Okay, so first put an even thin coat down and work your way all the way around. Make sure you get the edges that are going to be exposed. This one, the back and the right side are going to be up against the wall, but the front and the left side are going to be exposed. So make sure you coat everything that is exposed. All right, once we get through all of this, you let it dry, and then you do a second coat. And then again, also let that dry. I'm building a couple tops at the same time. All right, this top is just going to be a flat top. I built up the one that's going to have an undermount sink, but the flat one, I'm just going to use a frame underneath it and a cabinet. So I elected to go with just the single sheet. Again, now this one's going to be exposed on the two sides and the front so make sure that you coat all those edges all right again when it's dry hit it with the second coat okay now you take the tape and put it around on the edges which creates a like barrier so when you're doing the epoxy it doesn't just strip off the edges this creates like a dam and keeps the epoxy up on the top. Now we're mixing everything. You mix part A and part B equally, one to one. All right, now stir it up real good. You stir it up for a couple minutes before you put in the color. I continue to stir this. Now I'm going to use the white and then I also am going to use the black, which the black won't be a whole lot. So I'll mix that in a smaller container. But you wanna mix part A and part B thoroughly. All right, use a plastic paddle Right now I'm mixing the uh, small one that's going to get the black metallic. So I'm not going to need a lot, but again, you mix part A and part B. Now I'm mixing this one up again. I want it mixed thoroughly. I need this to be very good. Now I have the small one. I'm mixing the A and B in this one. Also, I mix it up enough, and then I'm going to add the color and then mix it more. Now, being I have a white color and a black, I'll mix the white first. So, pour it in. 
trying to make sure I have enough to do the whole top. I'll mix it up and see how consistent the color is. And whether I need to add more white or not. Again, mix it thoroughly. Get that powder, the color in there, mix it, mix it, mix it. It's not going to hurt it. This takes a while to set up. So just make sure that you're completely satisfied with the color that you're mixing and that you've added enough. I keep pulling it back out and take a look at the paddle and see how it forms on the paddle if it's the correct color that I'm looking for. Well, again, I didn't have enough white in there, so... I'm going to pour it all in. All right. Well, let's mix it up some more. Everything needs to be consistent. Mix, mix, mix. Don't worry about it. You need to mix it a good three, four minutes, possibly five. All right, now we're going to pour it and start to spread it out. I didn't just dump a whole lot down. I want to spread it out a little. This one has the sink in there, and I've got to move it around here so that it gets right up onto the tape. You run it right, the roller right up to the tape so that it's going down the edges. You need to put more down, you just pour a little more. Work your way around the whole top. Just spread it out. I somewhat leveled these. They're not perfectly level, but I did do that first so they should flatten out better. All right, now just keep working yourself around there. You need to pour some more down, pour it on. All right. Now I'm moving on to the second top. Spreading it out. Keep roll it out. This is the white metallic I'm putting down first. Just keep spreading it out. You need more, pour it out. Okay, now Get everything all the way around. Remember, get it right up to the tape. You're not knocking off the tape, but you want to get that epoxy right up to the edges so that it, when you pull off the tape, it starts to flow down the edges. It's a lot of work trying to do a couple of them at the same time, but they're the same color, so this is what I elected to do. The stuff flows out really nice. So now I had already mixed up my black and now I'm going to start my veins. Now I elected to go on somewhat of an angle and you just let it drip down, spread it out. You know, you make the design yourself. I elected to go this way, but you can do anything you like. Whatever makes you, you know, whatever you like and you feel. Now get your roller and start moving it. Okay, you're spreading out the black first. Now when you do this, you're going to get more on your roller and you're going to get the gray. So first you want to try and get the lines so they look like the grooves. So you're picking up the black, but then now it's mixing with the white and you get a lot of gray effects. All right, just keep moving it. Get it on that tape, right up onto the tape. This is gonna work well when you go to pull off the tape and then it's gonna flow down nicely.
Keep moving with it. It takes a while to dry, but you want to keep moving. Now, both these tops aren't going in the exact same place, but I want them to look similar. So I'm spreading out the black again. Started to feel like I was going too much exactly the same, so I was going another direction. Again, roll the black, starts to move the veins, then it mixes with the white, and it gives you the gray. I really like how this is turning out. You know, use your own ideas. Sometimes you start moving with this stuff and it starts taking away a life of its own. But you just get the feel. And you do what it is that you want to do. Yep, just keep pushing it up onto the tape. This way, it'll flow when you go to remove the tape. All right, I'm liking the way it's turning out. Now we remove the tape. Now I removed the tape and I rolled all the edges, bringing it down. And as it started to settle, I started to see some air bubbles on top. So I took the isopropyl and spray it. Not too much, but you want to try and get those air bubbles to flatten out. This works well. You can use heat. I didn't want to use the torch. And my heat gun is broken. So I used the isopropyl. It's working out very well. Well, now we have to let it sit. And let this dry. I think it's working out very well. And we're going to let this dry for a couple days. And then we'll put the sink in. And then we're going to install it. But anyway, this was just to show you how to make the tops to look like marble. I think they worked out really well. And we're going to go on and move on to the next one. All right. This is Building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make some comments if there's anything else you want to see or if you want to know anything more about doing these tops. Just make a comment. Let me know. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd love to see you on the next one, Building with Papa.